What's up guys and welcome back to the day 5 of 15 days of OPC for beginners in Python. I am Chandu and I am super excited to be an instructor of this course. So in this one, we are going to learn how can we create on camera and how can we capture a video using Python and OpenCV. So let's get started and jump to the tutorial. So, Alright, so for that I am going to create a new Python file here. So let's say day5.py. Okay. And you can see here our Python file is created. That's called day5.py. Okay, so now I'm going to import the cb2. So import cb2 here. So our library is imported done. Now, we need to actually capture the video and also we need to make one camera. Okay, so for actually making the camera, we are going to use one method from cb2 that's called video capture. So let's say cb2 dot video capture. Okay, and this is the method. It actually help us to open our camera. And the parenthesis it will take some arguments for argument you can pass here 0 or either 1 so why 0 and why 1 if you use your default webcam you can put here 0 and if you use one external webcam you can put here 1 and I will show in later on how can you external camera like your smartphone camera using here okay so I am going to assign it one to one variable that's called the video so video equal to cv dot video capture and inside this i put here zero that's when i'm going to use my default webcam okay then what you have to do we need to actually read the frame okay read the frame here so this should be infinite why infinite because we are going to actually join picture by picture and it will make one video so for that we're going to create one infinite loop okay so while true that should be infinite and now we need to read the video here using this video capture objects here so video dot read and inside this we don't need to put here the parameter here because it, it no don't need the parameter it's one functions but it will return two values so first one is nothing but red let's say red and another one is frame so the red is nothing but is a boolean value if your camera is not stable that means if you're if you don't if your camera is not perfect or any kind of error it will keep so the boolean value should be zero but if there are no error that's mean your camera is okay so it will give you one okay so red when the red is one your camera is okay so when the red is zero that's mean your camera is not stable here okay so now what you can do we can actually show our frame here for showing the frame you know in cb2 we are going to use the cb2 dot ion show okay and it will take one window name so let's say call here let's say camera and comma we need to put here the frame so this frame and now we need to actually put here the keyboard binding functions okay so let's put here cb2 dot white key and what is the keyboard binding function you also already discussed about the in our data too if you miss this out so please check it out link will be in the description so this is nothing but call the keyboard binding functions so we're going to actually waiting for the Q key from our keyboard. So that's why I'm going to put here one. And I'm going to put it into one variable that's called cat. That's called the key. So if k equal equal to ORD, so ORD is a function, it actually helps us to take input from your keyboard. So let's put here Q. That's mean it actually wait for Q. Okay, Q from the keyboard. Then our infinite loop, that's mean this infinite loop, we are going to back that. Why? Big otherwise it will be it, it it it's unable to actually stop the program to stop the program we need to actually use this white key and the q to actually break the program okay and finally you're going to read release the video here which one actually recorded here that's mean uh, it actually gave me the video capture so that's why i'm going to actually put it the video dot release okay this one and finally i'm going to destroy all window which one actually opened here okay so our I'm sure is okay done, our white key also done. So now it's time to actually save the code and run the code and see the output. That it actually work fine or not. And it will open my webcam and as you can see here, you open my webcam correctly. Okay. And it actually open my default webcam, this, this default webcam here. And you can see here, you can also use your smartphone and upcoming videos. I show you how can you use the right cam to actually open your webcam here using OpenCV. Okay. So our camera is done. We actually successfully built our camera. So now let's check some parameters actually on the video capture and we can deal with them. So if I try to print the actual frame width and the frame height, so you can do that. Let's say cb2 
okay dot get this is one called the get method and another one called the set method in the cv2 or not cv2 it's on the video because we are going to set here so video dot set it will take one property and the value when you set that and how you get that we can also get the value from here so get this in this one take one this one is functions and we can put here one value here that's a cv2 dot we can put here the white okay so white is nothing but our capture frame white you can see here cap from frame white cap from okay this is the cap from frame width it actually give us the frame width of the frame okay so you can copy this out and you can also check it the height okay so let's I replace with height and you can see here this is nothing but the height if we run the code and save and run the code and you can see here something is printed here okay okay and you can see here this is nothing but our white and this is nothing but our height of the image uh, of the frame this frame you can also change the frame here so for that you're going to use the video dot set because it's the property of the video so for that what you can do so video dot set and the set will take Two parameters as argument first one is the props id and the bellows okay this one is a props id here and another one is the bellow so props id that's mean for the white we can put here props id as three now you can actually specify here you white of the frame so by default is 640 you can also increase the size let's say 1000 and and for the height this set is nothing but called a four so video.set and the props id is nothing but four and you can specify it below. Let's specify it below as the uh, 500. Okay. Save and run the code here and see the output. And you can see your frame is converted into 1000 cross 500. Just seconds. Okay. Okay. And you can see our frame is converted. And you can see here nothing is here. Okay. And our frame is fully full converted here. Okay. So now you see that how can you use this sad property to make the uh, make the frame very big. Okay. You can also comment out this line okay so our video property is also done now what you can do we can also uh, save this video which one is recorded here okay so for that we are going to actually uh, create one video writer because for capturing the video we are actually using the video capture and how you actually write the here so definitely you're going to use the video writer so that's the video writer here okay so this is the video writer and it will take some uh, command okay so the first argument is nothing but our file name. So what will be the file name? Let's say output on the ABI format. This is nothing but one video format. And the another one is called 4cc code. Okay. So you need to also specify here the video writer 4cc code here. If you wanted to know about this 4cc code, you can just go on Google and search for the 4cc code in OpenCV. Okay, and you can get the forces code. Okay, so I'm not going to actually uh, discuss about this thing very well. So cb2 dot video. Okay, so video writer, and you can see here the four cc. Okay, yeah, you can see here it actually take the four code. That's why it's called the four cc code. So first code you can specify this is called the x. Okay, and another one is called the b. All should be the capital, and another one is called the b i and the d this is the 4 cc code okay you can specify like that you can also specify like that here i'm going to remove this okay i'm going to cop uh, comment out this line and i'm going to also copy this line here and see how can i write in the different manner way you can also write this on this type of way let's start and you can also put here the x p i d okay Okay, sorry for that. It should be there in the capital format. Okay, so this is nothing but our four CC code. Okay, you can write write right here, write this format or write this format. Now we can also uh, put here the specify here the four CC code. Okay, and now we need to put here the FPS. That's called the frame per second. So let's say by default is uh, from the sixty uh, or thirty. You can put here. It's up to you. Let's put here the thirty here. And the another argument is called the height and the wide of our video. So let's put here the our initial height and the wide. Let's 640 and the 480. And this is 
this is the bit writer is actually done here okay so you can also uh, save it into one uh, uh what we call one variable let's call output so output equal to cb2 dot video writer okay how about then now you can actually call it out here so let's say output dot write okay and if i this we can put here the word frame okay and finally you're going to actually out put dot and finally you're going to release here okay this one release okay so now let, let's test it out and see here uh, that's one file is generated or not save and run the code and see that it actually worked fine or not and it will open my webcam uh, it's take few seconds to actually open the webcam and you can see here uh, it actually opened my webcam here and see uh, the video and you can see one video generated here and i need to actually open it here okay on the on my files let's go here and you can see one output file is actually generated here you can also play it out and you can see it play on the 640 and 40 and you can see a like thumbs up okay that's when our file is actually deleted you can also change the frame up here it's up to you that how much frame you are like to do okay so we can close that and this is the video and you can also change it out you can change your the fps you can also change your the frame per second and also that's called fps and you can also change you the frame height and the white you can do that and you can also use the external webcam here so this is the video hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss an update and i'll be back with the day number six so till then take care bye bye